What's up everyone and welcome to a new Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire update. Fresh out of the oven, the Pokemon Japanese website or YouTube channel has just posted this trailer which is sort of an overview trailer of a lot of the features that we've already seen before for these games but man, this looks awesome. It has got me all hyped up and I decided I should try something a little bit different with this one since Usually I like to collect all my thoughts about this new trailer and any other information that's ever released and script it all, but I decided this time around we should try and do it live. Let's just go through the trailer and I'll give you guys what I think of it as well as just what's going on in the trailer. Should be pretty obvious, but it's in Japanese so maybe some stuff might not be clear, but this one starts off showing off the Mega Evolutions that have been revealed so far. There's a lot of them. Of course, Mega Metagross, the three starters, Swampert and Sceptile being the only two new ones. And then we have Audino, Salamence, Slowbro, and Altari all getting mega evolutions there's some more than that i think but those are the ones they showed off and the japanese announcer guy in the background which you guys won't be able to hear since i'll probably put music is keeps saying mega shinka which means mega evolution so he's probably just detailing how it works and how there's new mega evolutions in this game and then we actually get to see the japanese logos for them so obviously omega ruby on the left and alpha sapphire on the right now the really cool thing that stands out about these logos here is the actual Omega and Alpha symbols, which if you guys didn't know, they are the symbols for Team Magma and Team Aqua, which I think could be the red and blue orb. That's why I wanted to point it out because those are very key items in the story of those games. So they, that could be what the red and blue orbs actually look like in these games. And then they'll have the Omega and the Alpha symbols on them. And maybe they'll be able to activate that primal evolution. But yeah, I think there's more about that later on in the trailer. So let's keep rolling this and see what we got the map of the Hoenn region, we've seen this one floating around a little bit. The only thing to point out about it here though in this, uh, well, I guess it's not in this new trailer, but just overall, I mentioned this in one of the first videos when we first saw this map, is that area all the way in the north? I don't know what the heck that could be. And now we get into some overworld gameplay. So first off, we have the rainy route near Fortree City where you find uh, Reggie Steel. I was about to say Steel Eggs, but no, it's Reggie Steel. And we can actually also see a secret base there, which is really cool because we've seen what the secret bases look like in the rocks in these new games, or sorry, super secret bases, but... You can see that the ones in those really, really shrubby trees in the jungle area are also going to be back, and that's what they look like. And I just want to point out how beautiful the cloud reflection looks on the water, and we'll actually get to see another shot of the water later on in Sutopolis, which also just looks really, really amazing. Like I said, this is kind of an overview trailer of stuff we've seen before, but it just, when you play it all out, it looks so nice. The game just looks really, really good. So we get to see Pacific Lodge Town or Pacific Log. I never knew how to say that, but we get to see that town for the first time here. It looks pretty cool, kind of what was expected, I guess, but there's little ripples of water when you walk on the log since obviously you're just kind of floating there. Does not seem like the smartest way to go about building a town. It just doesn't look very safe. That girl right over there could just be pushed into the water at any moment, but I'm assuming these people are ready for that living in this kind of town you gotta have to be a good swimmer probably or just in Hoenn in general there's so much water speaking of water though here is our first look at what diving underwater in the new games will look like and oh my goodness this is really really cool you can see the character has the little snorkeling gear or I don't know what you call that exactly you can see that you are riding on a Whalmer, just like in the original games of course but now you can actually tell that it's a Whalmer whereas before it was just a little blobbity blob I mean you could tell it was Whalmer but the graphics man the graphics is what I'm trying to say of course you see Corsola in the background he's just chilling but man this looks really really pretty now we have the desert uh the desert that's near I forget which town it is Mauville and Fall Arbor I want to say it's between those two routes and we see an encounter with a trip hinge here so Good luck getting away from that with that arena trap going on, but man, the battle background looks really, really nice for the desert. I pointed it out, I think, back when uh, the Mega Salamence trailer came out because that was also in the desert, but wow, it looks really, really nice just looking at it over again. I don't know, I know I'm bringing up the graphics a lot, but they just look really, really nice, at least compared to X and Y. You didn't really think there would be much difference since it's the same kind of engine for the games, but... All the new stuff that they're introducing just looks really nice. Now this one, I can't tell exactly where it is, but there's a couple of areas that are kind of like this. One to the north of Mobile near the Trick House, or it could be... Actually, now that I think about it, it probably is that area. Either way, shows off the battle animation, same as in Pokemon X and Y when you battle... Um, a little trainer. He's got a Ralts, which begs the question, man, where is Wally at? Our rival Wally from these games has still not made an appearance 
and I mean everyone probably is wondering where he is so I'm wondering the same thing they are going to show us a lot of the other characters though a lot that we've already seen in the previous gym leaders trailer like the gym leader Brawly here they're going to show off his gym but moving on we have the team Aqua and Magma base with our boy Archie as well as his two admins we get to show uh, or see a little bit more of the artwork from these games and now we have Archie of course from team Aqua and man this looks really nice our first encounter with team Aqua and Magma the Museum of Slateport City, whatever it was called, this is our first encounter with the Magma Boss or Aqua Boss, and it looks really cool. It's very cinematic. X and Y had a little bit of it, but this game looks like it's going to be a lot more cinematic and use a lot more angles than the previous installment of the series, and it just looks really good. Here we are in Meteor Falls, that waterfall in the background, man. It just looks so nice. I don't know who that doctor is. Of course, we have Archie. I've pointed out a bunch of times that Archie and Maxi each have their little mega stones. Archie has it hanging from that anchor that you see on him and then we'll see if we can see Archie in a second here or sorry Maxi in a second there it is on the glasses right there you can see his own mega stone and as they're about to shoot out their Pokemon I was thinking that maybe they would reveal Mega Camerupt and Mega Sharpedo but no cuts right to the Mega Groudon or sorry Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre not Megas those those are not Megas but yeah they're gonna show off a little bit more of the primal evolutions here or at least the cutscenes not really of them transforming but when you first meet them here these are the ones we saw in the sneak peek and now here it is the primal evolution or whatever it's officially called this is how they'll transform the first time you see them it looks freaking awesome I love it. I like that you can see a little bit of like the inside of Kyogre. I think that's a cool touch there. It's just, it's kind of weird, but I really, really like that effect that they did where you can see that inside glowing thing. I don't know. It just looks really nice. The scene overall is amazing. I can't wait to actually play this. And I think that's just what this trailer is doing. It's just showing us stuff to keep us with the hype, keep the hype going, make us excited. And honestly, it did its job. I am so excited to play these games. So now we're going to go into a little bit more about super secret bases. I talked about earlier how obviously they're going to have all the ones returning like they have the ones in the rocks they have the ones in the jungle area they have some in the trees we've already heard so much about super secret bases as well as the contest which is the next little thing that they're showing off but there we go you see that mega evolutions can be shown off in the contest i don't know why altaria was coming out of like the clouds there but i don't know i guess we'll find out more honestly i don't speak japanese this guy is whispering japanese in my ear right now as i'm watching the trailer and I have no idea what he's saying. If you want to check out the original trailer, of course, that'll be in the description. So if you're Japanese, you can watch that, listen to it, let me know what you think if you can understand. I am jealous, my man, because you can understand what's happening. I can't. I'm going to have to wait for a little bit. Shifting back to the gameplay, little clips, screenshot, whatevers, here is Mount Pyre, the lavender town per se of this game, where Pokemon go to rest. And then we have Moss Dip City, Moss Deep, uh, Moss Dip. That sounds pretty not good, a dip of moss, like I guess you could put chips in it, but probably wouldn't taste very good. Anyway, Moss Deep City here, we have the space station, which a lot of people have thought, or at least I've thought to myself, I don't know about anyone else. You know how in the original games, they always told you that you could go into space. What if in this game, you actually can? Because I feel like, at least in the original games, they never did it because maybe they didn't have the uh, ability to show it off or the space for it. I don't know, they definitely do in these games though, so... Maybe we'll be able to shoot off into space and catch ourselves a nice Mega Deoxys, perhaps? I don't know. I'm just throwing out random ideas, but it would definitely be very, very cool. And uh, let me know if you guys agree if uh, you would like to see at least a Deoxys event. Not even just Mega Deoxys, because that seems unlikely, but at least a Deoxys event in the game that has to do with going into space. That would be really awesome in my opinion. And this is the shot that I spoke of earlier. This is Sutopolis City. We're right in front of the gym here and you can see the reflection of the uh, outside walls of the city. If you guys don't know or don't remember, Sutopolis is the one that is inside of this giant rock formation and you have to dive underwater to get in but yeah you can see the reflection of the giant white rock walls and it just looks really really nice pokemon or at least the hoenn region has a lot a lot of water in it so i'm glad that they're changing it up and making some of the water look a lot more exciting and just beautiful overall this game just looks really really nice inside of this utopolis gym though the final gym we've all been waiting for this moment will the gym leader be juan or will it be wallace and sadly we still don't know because both juan and wallace have this same puzzle where you can 
have the ice floor crack below you and then you fall to a floor lower. It looks a little bit different in this one, like the way that the puzzle works. Actually, it might be the same and I just don't remember, but yeah, we still don't know who the gym leader is going to be, but at least we get to see the puzzle is back. And of course, we have some acro bike bunny hop in action. There was actually a video little gameplay uploaded somewhere which showed off a lot more of the bikes that I never showed you guys. So if I find that, I'll be playing it now. I'm not sure. I'm glad to see that that is back because I really, really like the acro bike. It was always the, it's always been the best bike of any of the Pokemon games. And if you disagree, then... Okay, this next scene I am very puzzled about, and I wanted to ask you guys what you think it might be, because we see Brendan, or the main character here, sneaking up on Pikachu, or it looks like Pikachu's tail at least, in a brush or in a patch of grass, and I have no idea what it could be, it could be a special event. Why he's sneaking up on the Pikachu though is what I really want to question, because it could be that in this game, since we don't have the uh, skates returning from X and Y, and you guys know that the circle pad usually makes you go on skates. What if in this game, the circle pad is just makes you run by default, and the D-pad will actually make you slowly walk up like this, or they use the D-pad where if you gently tilt it, you can sneak up. I don't know what the utility of that would be, unless there's more Pokemon that are like this little Pikachu tail sneaking up on it, but I guess we'll have to wait and find out. This just looks like a feature that is... I think over gonna be overlooked on this trailer. Actually, no, a lot of people are probably thinking about this right now and thinking what the heck is going on. So let me know what you guys think. What could this be? It could just be that this is the special Pikachu that you get that you can dress up and you actually have to go out into the wild and find it. But honestly, I don't know. I also can't quite tell where we are on the map in this game, but I'm just gonna assume since it's a Pikachu, it has to be somewhere early on. But yeah, we'll find out. Let me know what you guys think it is. Some more back. Some more bike gameplay, this one on the Mac bike, and of course, Pokemon Ami is returning, you guys know all about that. Next up, we have Mega Sharpedo, though! No, it's actually the submarine for Team Aqua, but it looks really, really nice. It could even be like an inspired design for Mega Sharpedo. I still really, really think that they're gonna add Mega Sharpedo and Camera Up because those are the signature Pokemon of Mar Maxi and Archie. I keep confusing their name, even wanting to like fuse them together, Marxy and a Aki, Axi, I don't know. But this looks really cool, the submarine has a design now, it's not just a generic submarine, and it definitely reminds me of the good old days of Team Rocket in their giant Magikarp submarine. And now we have some fighting dojo? I want to guess that this is going to be what the new Elite Four rooms are going to look like, they're all going to be themed after their trainers, but I couldn't tell you what room this would be, if you know what this is, because I can't remember if there's any dojos in the original games right off the top of my head right now, let me know what this is, but it looks really nice regardless of what it is, I want to be here. Mega Salamence fighting Cacturn and Mega Lopunny fighting Bayonet since it's got that scrafty ability that can hit those ghost types, which is also what lets me to believe that that dojo could be an Elite Four room because both of those Pokemon seem like Pokemon that the Elite Four that we've seen revealed so far would have Cacturn for Sydney and Bayonet, of course, for Phoebe. Also, those two could be Mega Evolutions, you never know. Bayonet has a Mega, Cacturn could have a Mega in these games. I'm not saying that the Elite Four itself is going to have one, but I'm just saying that Cacturn could have a Mega Evolution. I just like predicting stuff, man. It might not happen, but I like predicting nonetheless. What it does show off, though, is that you will most likely be able to get the Mega Stones for Salamence and Lopunny before the Elite Four. Like, they won't be a post-game kind of thing. And it could be that in this game, just all Mega Stones are found before uh, the post-game. Like, there's no post-game Mega Stone hunting. You can find them all before then. I don't know about that. I doubt it. Uh, it's just there's probably going to be some select ones you can get before, just like in X and Y. And wrapping up this exciting trailer with the most exciting clip, I think, in my opinion. I don't know, man. This looks really freaking cool. Ladio zips and zooms to the sky. And this is kind of a preview of the intro of the games, I'm guessing, since we have the character on his bike and Ladio zooming by. That's usually the intro of the games. It looks so freaking nice, though. And if we pause on the little part where he's hovering over Mount Pyre, you can kind of see something. I think it's just the entrance, or sorry, the exit of where the cable car drops you off. But it could be something else, so yeah. That is going to be it, though. Let me know what you thought of all of that. My mind is blown. I am so excited for these games. They're coming November 21st, so 
a month and a half away. We're ending off the trailer with a look at shiny Mega Metagross though, because of course you can get yourself a shiny Beldum through the uh, mystery gift, just like you could get Torchic before. So as well, they're going to show off the pre-order bonuses, which I am very, very jealous of. I am a sucker for these pre-order figures and in Japan, apparently they can get this really awesome Kyogre and Groudon primal form little figures and man i just really really hope they bring this over to north america because i am so jealous i need these in my life i've got the collectibles for all of the other um soul silver heart gold and platinum figures i think so i really really want these that is gonna wrap it up though guys so if you enjoyed as always be sure to leave a like i know it was a little bit different with me doing this whole improv thing but yeah if you enjoyed that let me know what you think and if i should do more of them like this i usually just like to script my videos because i'm very scatterbrained when i talk about these topics so i like to narrow it down and just relay you guys my information straight up without all these random really off topic ideas that i always get so thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one